guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter, and welcome to another Mail Monday. So I have a few things I want to show you guys, but before, let me tell all the new people, my mailbox is closed. I will not be receiving any more things until I go through all the mail, and maybe I might reopen it at 500,000 subscribers, I haven't decided yet. But until then, please be very patient if you did send something, because I am making my way <laughs> towards the pile of boxes. If you haven't seen my vlog, I do show a huge pile of what's left, so maybe you'll see yours there. Also, <laughs> this is a weird one. A couple of you guys sent, not a couple, but one package was sent to Smosh accidentally, and it said Jackie and Nerdy Crafter, and it was all polymer clay stuff and Ninja Turtle things, but it was sent to the wrong address. So I'll leave a link for their video down below since they can't send it back to me, and uh, if that was your package, at least it got seen by lots and lots of people. <laughs> So, that was the weirdest package sent, by the way. How could they confuse my address with Smosh? Smosh is like, huge, and I'm just an itty beady little channel. Alright, so, enough blabber, let's get into it. Now, I also wanted to share with you guys something extremely fun. This is a box that was sent to me by a Canadian company, which is pretty cool, called Creation Crate. That is a complete... A, <laughs> it's a really unique box that is really tailored to learning and getting a new skill. So this box allows you to build kind of electronics and code and do so many cool things. So if you guys want to see a more in-depth, uh, I guess, tutorial of how to build this specific mood light, I'll leave a link for Alex's video because he does an step-by-step -step instructional video of how to actually put it together. But what comes in there is a really cool kit. It has all these wires and there's a breadboard. When my brother saw the breadboard, he went nuts. He, he geeked out so hard. He's like, is that a breadboard? Oh my god. And he, he went really, <laughs> he really geeked out. And you guys can see, these, these things are pretty legit. So I'll leave a link for their subscription box down below. Uh, I am not affiliated, so if you want to use the coupon code, there's no repercussions whatsoever. It's just I wanted to shout them out because they are a Canadian company, and this is really cool if you have someone who's interested in building stuff. It's an amazing way to kind of get into that whole, I guess, culture? <laughs> Don't ask. That whole idea of building things without feeling intimidated because the instructions are so clear. But the instructional video, the instructional video <laughs> will be down below. I have a Tokyo Treat Taste Test, T Tokyo Treat Taste Thing. I have an awesome box of Tokyo Treat, and I've done a couple of videos with Tokyo Treat Nummies, and I'm not affiliated, but I wanted to show you guys what they have. They are a subscription box of candies, and they have three different sizes, and they have Japanese stuff. If you're a huge fan of Japanese snacks, seriously, I'm not affiliated, but it is one of the better ones out there, because some of them are sent from North America, which is kind of bizarre. And this one is sent straight from Japan. So this is the cool part about Tokyo Treat. And I have the premium box. And it has a lot of stuff. So, uh, a couple of things I'm a little scared about. To tell you, this one scares me. Because my Japanese is a little rusty, but I could read this. It is Mentai. Mentai. Which is fish egg. I think fish egg or fish egg sack. And when I was in Japan, Rachel told me that the spaghetti that is made with mentai is really good. I don't like seafood and seafood, except for sushi. Sushi's okay. Seafood scares me. And this is seafood chips. So I'm gonna try it, and I'm so scared. I have goosebumps right now. It doesn't make any sense why I would have goosebumps, but let's, let's give it a try. So I'm gonna open a little thing, and... Okay, it smells like potatoes. I'm only doing this for you guys, okay? I hate. I don't like it. Oh my god. It smells like potatoes. Mm. Okay. It just tastes like potatoes, seriously. There's no fishiness to it. It's just a very light, salty. Oop! I dropped one. No one knows. <laughs> it's just a light, salty potato. If at any point I have food all over my face, you'll have to forgive me. So, oh, that one was a little spicy, but that was pretty good, so I'm not as scared with that one. And then I see this taco-flavored, kind of, look kind of like Doritos. 
So taco flavored. I love Japanese snacks, especially when it comes to the sakura season and all that stuff. Everything is just so flavored and I, I wish I could be there right now. Oh, it doesn't... smells like seasoning mix. It doesn't smell like Doritos. It really smells like taco seasoning. And it looks like this. So, mmm, it smells really good. So let's try it. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Tastes like tomato. Like tomato and cheese. Oh, that is really good. I'm gonna hide this so nobody can get it. This is really good. Oh, wow. It tastes, it seriously tastes like tomato and cheese. Mmm. That is really good. I'm gonna be closing all these up and eating them really slowly. So, let's see what else we have. We have a strawberry pocky. You guys call them pockies, but you know what? I'm just gonna go back to what I'm calling them, which is pokey. So, we have some strawberry pokey that is heart shaped. These are so cute. Now, I'm going to save these because I've had strawberry flavored before, so I'm going to save them for my wee little self for another time. And I think the premium pack actually comes with chopsticks, kind of as like your gift. So, that is pretty cool. So, good luck with chopsticks fortune. So, this is cute. You can never have too many chopsticks. And these are really nice wooden ones too. I don't know why I was frowning. <laughs> these are good chopsticks, she says angrily. And uh, what is this one? Uh, let me see. String candy grape. Grape and muscat, chewy string, twisted together. Okay, so this is, I thought it was a, a candy kit, but it's not even a candy kit. So let's open and see what kind of gummy this is. Oh, wow. Oh, that smells, smells like Hubba Bubba stuff. Oh, that is cute. So it looks like that. And... Mmm. I love... A lot of the Japanese snacks, as soon as you chew into it, it has a kind of... It could be gum, but then it disintegrates in your mouth. So it's gum at the beginning, but not really, and then it just melts. Kind of like chewy. Uh, no, haichu. <laughs> If you guys have had Haichu, it's kind of like that, but a lot softer. So that's that's pretty cool. And then some jelly beans. Again, Japanese snacks gummies are very different than the gummies we have. So, mmm. Smells really fruity. And I'm going to have one. And yeah, the gummies in Japan are very, are much softer than what we have. They mo they're more like... Hardened Jello, which is mm, so good. This is nowhere near what we have. It's so good. It was really fruity, mega fruity. What's that? And then we have this one. Let me check. Collis Strange Gum. That, that is okay. That is weird because in Quebec, Collis is not a very, very not a very nice word. So this gum. Oh, that is so cool. So this gum is flavor changing. I'm not going to eat this for this video. I'm actually going to try and have a kind of reaction video to this gum. I'm just going to give it to people and be like, here, try this flavor. And I want to see if they can see if there are two different flavors. And as usual, there is a candy kit that comes in the Tokyo Treat, which I, I really want to try those candy kits. I keep telling you guys that I want to try the candy kits and I haven't done them yet. I'm hoarding them. I seriously am hoarding them. So I'm probably going to try and make a couple, hopefully with Mimi. Mimi, I know I keep saying I'm going to bring them, but you really have to remind me. So I want to make some with Mimi because she really wants to make them too. And then this, I have to try. This looks so good. So this is a double strawberry kind of chocolate. So I want to try this. Obviously, there's nothing, it's not, it's not going to smell <laughs> like strawberries on the outside. So let's open this and see what it tastes like. Oh, it smells so strawberry-y. <laughs> so some of them are lined and some of them are not lined. And I think that would be, let me show you a little bit of a close-up. So some of them are lined, can you guys see? Some have lines and some don't. And I'm thinking that's probably the way to find out the difference. So I think one of them is supposed to have a jelly and another one is supposed to be just kind of a filling. So this is the filling one. Mm. A lot milder than I thought. I definitely love it. It's I love everything strawberry. Not cherry. Strawberry. And I find that the strawberry Kit Kat way more strawberry-ish. 
So let's see if the other one, ooh, look at that. So good. <gasps> oh my goodness. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my feet are just happy. I'm wiggling. Oh, that extra. Oh, yum. That extra jelly is much, much, much sweeter. And it's so good. It's exactly what I would have loved in a strawberry flavored sweet. It's so good. Okay, I really, definitely my favorite is the one with the filling and the stuff. So, yeah, that's good. <laughs> then we have a latte kume, I think, soft candy. When they say soft candy, it's, I guess, kind of for us, like, taffy-ish. And my hand smells like chicken. I think it's just because I just finished cooking chicken. So <laughs> I can't even smell it. It's supposed to be like a sour-ish plum, so I just broke it off so that I don't chew with my mouth fully full. Mm. Sweet and sour taste. Mmm. Mmm. What does it taste like? Oh. It tastes like sour plum. It definitely tastes like sour plum. Do I like it? I'm not sure. Will my sister like it? Yes, she will. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Mm. I think it's good. But for a trial. <laughs> that's why I love that's why I love Tokyo Treat because it gives you all these things that some things you'll be comfortable trying. And other times other other times they'll give you things that you normally wouldn't try. So I normally would not have picked this up. And now that I know what it is, why am I getting goosebumps all the time now? <laughs> I feel like goosebumps now. Sour things and mm, spiders and things like they give me goosebumps. So I'm easy to give goosebumps too. Next is this kind of princessy chocolate. What is this one? Let me look for it. Okay, so Lost Treasure. It's a double berry cookie crisp. It's double berry cookie crisp. I said it right the first time. That's pretty cool. And here it is. Is it a soft one or is it a hard one? So it, oh, it's soft. Oh, double berry. Look at that. So it looks like, mmm. You guys know when you go to, to the grocery store and you pick up those soft, really soft cookies with the filling on the middle? That's exactly what it smells like. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Slightly chewy filling. So soft cookie. Oh, that is so good. Mm-hmm. Okay, that is really... I want more. That is really good. And the berry is kind of like a raspberry strawberry mix. Mmm. That is really good. Seriously, I want a whole box of that. I think I'm going to ask my friend to look for these. I'm actually going to send her a message because we send each other treats uh, from here and she is going to have to get me a bunch of stuff because this is really good. I would have loved a whole bunch of these. I know I keep saying that, but I want a whole bunch of these. <laughs> and then there's this twin star... Thing that I thought was like a Rice Krispie treat, but it's supposed to be a strawberry crunch. I kind of see a pattern. A lot of the stuff in today's box is kind of pink. Pink and berry. Oh, almost dropped that. Pink and berry. Mm, oh, it smells like... It smells like cereal. Look at that. How cute is that? It looks like a Rice Krispie treat. So I'm going to take a... Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's very berry. That's really good. It tastes it tastes like berry, but it doesn't... It tastes like a cereal bar. That's the best way I can describe it. It tastes like a cereal bar, but with a Japanese twist on the berry. So I, I think I need another box of these. I'm gonna have to send a few more things. So this is really good. Highly recommended. And then there's this yummy looking chocolate lollipop that I am debating between eating <laughs> or making molds out of them. I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. I want to make molds out of everything. So I'm probably going to keep them and then decide later on. But from what I know is that they actually just taste like a milky chocolate. And I love milk chocolate. And a lot of you like um, dark chocolate, but I really love milk chocolate. I don't eat chocolate too often, maybe maybe once a month at best. So I really like my, my sweets sweet. And last but not least, is always in the premium you'll get a kind of drink. And this is a red bean, a sweet red bean soup. So when I was in Japan in the winter, they always had soups. So these cans were warm and they had them in the vending machines. And I used to always grab the corn soup. Sweet corn soup is so good. So I'm going to taste that one. So I shook it. I don't know if I was supposed to shake it. 
but oh you can even heat it up so there are some instructions on heating it up but let's just go into hardcore mode <laughs> let's open it up oh it smells like smells like red bean not even sweet red bean but it smells like beans just beans like if you open a can of beans and you take a whiff that's exactly what it smells like so <laughs> cheers mmm it is sweet red bean so if you know sometimes you have Asian desserts that are cookies and then the stuffing on the inside is red bean mmm that's exactly what it tastes like that's really good of course if you don't like that kind of stuff then you won't find it really good mmm that's really good so definitely way better than the sweet sake that they sent not long ago but this one is definitely on my top drinks so if you guys want more information on Tokyo Treat I will leave it in the description box below so the first package I'm opening is from Tam and Tam is from Australia last year she sent me a huge mega box that had the Nyan Cat pillow, pillow, pillow and a toothless mug so I still use that mug and I still have the Nyan Cat pillow that the cats sleep on on a regular basis the, the couch is not in my craft room anymore but I, we've moved it down into the basement because it's easier to game on so I'm so excited because Tam's package has these adorable boxes that I'm gonna be reusing to send stuff to other people you know reduce waste <laughs> So thank you so much, Tam. I am so happy to see a package from you again this year. You are so talented, guys. Remember, all crafters will get a link in the description. Not just a link, but all their links will be in the description box below. So I have so many packages here. So I'm just going to start with the colorful one here. And what does that one say? So yummy, but not edible. Why? Why you do that? So I'm just going to move. Come on. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. <laughs> So we have, oh, we have some more stuff. So let me just go one at a time. There's a, wait, there's a couple. <laughs> Everything's together. There's this really cute jello cup. And, ooh, that looks delicious. So we have some whipped cream. And I don't know, are these straws or candies? I don't know if they're candies in Australia, but we don't have candies that look like this. And it's a picture or memo holder. This is really cute. I love things like that. I love functional foods. Functional foods are fun. And then the other stuff that was on there, oh man, that looks so good. Your whip looks so glittery and delicious, and this looks so yummy. I love these little cabochons. This looks so cute. And then, of course, we saw everything ahead of time. Oh, I love this colorful bracelet. Oh, that is so pretty. By the way, don't, mo don't, don't, mind, don't mind the note written on my hand. I know you're not supposed to write things on your hand, but I really needed to remember this, and I still forgot it. These are such cute little macarons. They're so pretty. What are these made of? This, I'm not sure if this, is this cold porcelain? I think it's cold porcelain. These are so colorful. I'll definitely be wearing that because summer is not too far off. Okay, so that's it for, for these guys. By the way, if you have cats, keep these packing peanuts away from them. No matter how hard I try, Splinter always finds them. So I'm just going to put them in the bag right away so I don't have to look I don't have to fish it out of his mouth. That's what I had to do the other day. He ate one and you know these, for some reason these things melt in, in their mouths. And I had to fish it out of his mouth. What a, what a little brat. <laughs> Next is this cute little starry one and it says, Thank you for nothing, you useless reptile. Hmm, that sounds like a toothless thing. Is that? Oh, <laughs> look at little toothless. I love the face on this cutie. Oh my goodness. The details on this guy is so cute. The cute little tails, the huge eyes. It reminds me so much of the cup that you sent me. You have such a unique style, Tam. Oh, that is super, super cute. This guy is going to go on my shelf with the other dragons that I'm keeping up there from you guys. So I'm going to put, actually, I'm going to put him here for now. And then I'll give him a nice little home up top. I'm just going to get rid of those packing peanuts. I can't risk my kitty. <laughs> and then there's a white box, and it says... Your own personal healthcare comp- Baymax. Baymax, that's got it. Oh no, I think it broke. Hang on. Okay, no, it- yeah, it did break, but- but, but, but- oh wait, there's other stuff in it. Let me just take everything out first because I worry- it happened once where I didn't look all the way at the bottom of a box and someone said, wait, there was one more thing left and thankfully the recycling hadn't passed and I did find what was in the box. It was a gorgeous ring. Um, from Labyrinth. So 
so that now I check all the way down. So we have an adorable Baymax statue, but he came off of his stand. So I'm just going to glue him back on. Whoops. I'm just going to glue him back on because that's not going to be an issue. That is such a cute little environment. The soccer ball, seriously, probably took you a while. And not to mention the grass. The soccer ball, though. That is a perfect <laughs> soccer ball. That is patience. That is a lot of patience. And the colors are so perfect. You really took your time to make this soccer ball. So I'm just going to glue him in here with some glue gun. By the way, the name of all her stuff is Red Pandacata, which is really a cute name in itself. So I'm going to put Baymax here. Oh, and in the box, we have two cute little chibi Baymaxes. Oh, I love the cute little pink one. The translucent is super cute. Look at the face on these. And the heart, and they're so adorable. Oh my goodness. So cute. By the way, the, the mouth is one of the hardest parts to make of this cute little guy. I don't know why. It's just, it's, it's a straight line, but straight lines are a little hard sometimes. <laughs> So these are cute little Baymaxes. And then this box, a funny and noisy, cute gray cat. Is it the Nyan cat? Yeah, nope. Yeah, oh, yeah, there's both. Hang on, let's take them. Oh, no. You make such cute things. I'm just getting rid of, rid of, getting rid of the packing peanuts. <laughs> a uni Pusheen. I love Pusheen. I don't think I own many Pusheen things, but Pusheen is adorable. And it comes in just so many different kinds of forms. There's a uni pusheen, and I'm pretty... This looks like it glows in the dark. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it does glow in the dark. We put uni pusheen here. And it stands all by itself, too. It doesn't wobble, so... This uni pusheen is gonna go next to Toothless. I, I was gonna call him Draco. It's not even Draco, it's just... I'm just moving this. I'm feeling a little warm. <laughs> and then there is a Nyan Cat! I love Nyan Cat! So colorful! And it's a Pop-Tart, and it's a cat. How could this not be loved? It, it became an internet sensation for a reason. So, cute little Nyan cat. And the way you make your pieces are just so adorable. Look at the mouth, guys. Look how tiny the mouth is. Super tiny. Super cute. And speaking of tiny, we have a tiny Pusheen. Oh, so cute. You're so talented, Tam. Super, super talented. Okay, and I think there's one more box, and this one's pretty heavy. I have an idea what it is, because it says two things to do with drinks. So, she sent me a cup last year, and my guess is that it is a cup, but inside the cup is a bubble tea. I love bubble tea. Bubble tea, also picture or memo holder. I've seen this, um, I think, tutorial from Little Surprises YT, so she made this cute thing. My favorite flavor is either watermelon or honeydew. Which flavor is your favorite, guys? Tell me. I want to know. What's your favorite flavor? I haven't tried them all. And if you say durian, we can't be friends anymore. I can't digest durian. It's so stinky. I don't want to offend anyone, but it is a little stinky. Not a little stinky. It's, it's really stinky. It's really stinky, and it is, the, it, is, it is the known as the stinkiest fruit ever. So it's not even an opinion. It's a fact. That even Asian people say that it is a very stinky fruit. So if you haven't had durian, try it at least once, and then you can make an opinion based on it. It's kind of like, you know how a lot of Asian people say natto, or Japanese people say natto is disgusting? Well, if I had to choose, I would probably go for natto. <laughs> it's a really special fruit. Really special. But before I start digging myself, <laughs> my favorite flavor is watermelon and honeydew. So let me know what you like. All right, now for the big cup, which is... I'm so curious because she is so good and I love using cups. So what is it? What is it? Oh, an alpaca, a flying alpaca. That is so cute. I love how fluffy and chubby it is. Oh, that is so cute. A flying uni, a flying uni alpaca. It's so cute. I will have to use this. So maybe what I'll do is eventually with the years, I'll have a full set of cups from you, Tam. So I'll have all these unique cups, and we won't even have to use all these plastic cups and then put our names on it in case there's a party. Everyone will just have a different animal on their cups. So I'm just going to put it here so it doesn't get ruined or anything, just in case. I don't want the cats to jump on the desk, so I'm going to put it here. And then this one, it said functional food. <laughs> the paper fell. Functional food, and I can see it's a donut, but I have no idea what's... Oh my goodness. Oh, that is super... 
cute. So we have a deco case. Is that a gingerbread man? That is a gingerbread man. And I love your whips. And then there's some, some stuff inside. What's in here? Watch me, watch me struggle opening this. Why do I, I... I keep getting fluff. I think the cats were in here. They're not even allowed in here. How do I open this? I'm, try <laughs> I'm trying to open this. Oh my god. Does it pop up maybe? Guys, I'm struggling here. How do I open this? Oh my god, I'm scared to break it. I don't want to break it. Okay, well, I'll tell you guys what's in here until I figure out. So there's some beads, there's some clips, and some cute little panda cabochons, I'm guessing. Maybe clips. I think they're magnets. So there's panda magnets, and then we have more clips. So I have no idea how to open this. Okay, I don't want to break it. <laughs> I, I knew I would struggle with this. I know myself. I struggle with stuff. <laughs> and this one is by the power of the moon. Sailor Moon. I love Sailor Moon. Let's open this. Oh, wow. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We have a locket keychain. And I love this here. And you used a little bail in the back. But look at the details in the front. So we have the gems and the colors. This probably took quite some time to make. That is really cute. I love the details. Look at that. You guys should appreciate the close-up. Super cool. Oh, I love that. I love Sailor Moon. It was... Dragon Ball's my first love, and then Sailor Moon was my second love when it came to anime, because we didn't have that many choices early in the mid-90s, I think. And then she also sent stickers. I love it when you guys send me stickers, especially Japanese sticker flakes, because they are so funny and so unique and so glittery, and they work so well in resin. <laughs> Look at the face on this. He's just pulling his little cheek. That is cute. I can't wait to make resin pieces out of these guys. So some of them are actually glowy and others are not. That's cool. So these are all the ones that are in this package. This is so cool. Thank you so much. And there's some memo sheets in there that are so cute that I always end up using for chalk pastels in my projects. And I have an idea this is a hat. So remember, I didn't, I just kind of open it, but I don't look. No! Oh, cute little... <laughs> It's a kitty hat! Oh, that is adorable! I'm gonna try and put it on. Probably have really messy hair though, so let me try and put it on and get back to you guys. <laughs> this is so cute! I love this! And I usually, not usually because it's not like it changes, I have a pretty small head and this is a perfect fit. Sometimes people make it and it's kind of really big. I kind of have like a child size head. I'm only five foot tall guys. I'm only five foot tall so my head is small-ish. Proportional. Not small for my it just it's my head is fine. The hat is great. I don't know why I keep blabbing. So just forget it. <laughs> One more thing left from Tam. And I left it in the box because it's pretty huge. It's a pretty big and it says in addition for your couch. So remember I told you guys how she sent the Nyan Cat, so I don't know what's in here. I know. We don't see. Oh, it's Artemis! So cute! Guys, Artemis, Sailor Moon, the white cat. So cute. I don't know what the name is in Japanese, but I know in the English version it was Artemis. That is so adorable. You're making me cat pillows and cat hats. That is so cute. <laughs> oh, it's so soft. She's really talented at a lot of different medium. As you guys can see, she can make hats. She can make pillows and res uh, not resin, polymer clay stuff super super and resin actually resin 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 things so guys don't forget to check out the description box below for all things that are tam red panda kata if you want to check her out check out her store check out her instagram she is pretty cool thank you so much for sending all these things next i have some things by crafts by kristen and this is a gorgeous card by the way i love that the gray is kind of shiny so this is a really cool card of course links down below. And Kristen asked for me to review some of her things, so I'm going to give a quick review of her pieces. Now the first thing I have is a resin piece, and this is super retro. The only thing I would have to say is that the piece is extremely foggy, so this is easily solved if you just put a layer of resin on top, because the back is really shiny, but the glitter and everything doesn't show because the front is very matte, and that's because your mold is not very shiny. So 
put a layer of resin on top and you're going to see it pop and become so much more gorgeous. So this is really fun piece, super colorful, very, very retro. I think like maybe 80s style. And then there's a cute little chipmunk. This one is a lot shinier than the first one. I think these are two different molds. So this one is a shiny, a shiny piece. If you're going, uh, here's my little bit of <laughs> review. If you're going to use a brown sticker, try and avoid doing a brown background because then the sticker just won't show and you really want to show off that sticker. So try to choose a contrasting color or a lighter color just so that that sticker can, can pop out. So blue would have been really cute because I can see the blue stars in the back. Now, another thing is the back part of the resin pieces are just slightly kind of damaged and I can see a lot of fingerprints. So be careful, make sure that you let your piece fully, fully cure before you handle it. So be careful with that and make sure that you use colors that are very contrasting, kind of even white would have been a really nice background. That way your sticker could have shown a little more. And then we have bottle caps. You know my love for turtles. So this is a cute necklace for Ninja Turtles. I don't have any reviews to give on this because I've never made any bottle cap jewelry. So I can't give advice on things that I haven't made, unfortunately. And then there's a keychain, also bottle caps, with the turtles. Now these, again, are very reminiscent of, I think, 80s ish style. So this is a really cute keychain. So I love this. You will never lose your keys in your bag. You know how the bag is always an endless pit and you don't know where things are? Well, it'll be easier to find it now <laughs> in your bag. My bag is always a mess. I don't know why. And then the last item is a cute little heart sea turtle. And I know that cool rice bunnies, Lily, made a tutorial on this. Guys, make sure that you, this applies for everybody. Make sure that if you're going to sell something that you learned from a tutorial to ask the actual creator if it's okay with them. For me, I am completely okay. If you recreate my tutorials and sell them on your Etsy, I don't mind at all. Just make sure that you give credit to the artist, otherwise people might see your shop as copying and they might not buy from you. So make sure that you give credit where needed for the original artists. So this is a cute little turtle. I love turtles. And for this little guy, what I would say is maybe move the eyes slightly towards the back because they're too much towards the front, just a little bit to the side, not the back. We don't want the eyes in the back, that's, that's scary. Just go, just go on the side a little bit more. So if you guys want to give your love to Kristen, give much, much love. All the information is here. And I'm pretty sure there's an Instagram. I'll find the Instagram if there is one and I'll post it also in the description box below.